The narrator Jebamale could be any man or every man. With these few words, let me embark on my duty of welcoming the benevolent presence in our midst, our very own personal pride, the father and head of the Malangara Archiepiscopal Syrian Catholic Church, and the patron of the Marimanus Vidyan and the group of institutions, his beatitude, Vesalios Cardinal Primus Catholicos. Today, as we all know, he has become the secular divine voice of Toronto. It's a very rare honor to have the Cardinal to be present here to release the book amidst his very busy schedule. And for the author, it is his most priceless reward to have his biography released by the Cardinal, whom, to quote his words, he considers next only to God. On behalf of the author, and on my very own personal behalf, I very humbly extend a respectful welcome to his beatitude. It's always a joy to listen to Dr. Shashi Tharoor, the charismatic honorable minister of state for human resource development. An erudite scholar, eloquent speaker, able administrator, he's a very familiar face who has endured himself to the people of Kerala, taking the pride of Kerala across borders. It is highly appropriate that he is here to receive the first copy of the book as Dr. Tharoor, apart from his human relationship with the author, he's also a celebrity writer whose works and characters are charming murals on life, drawn with a visual and verbal finesse, making them a fascinating experience. Sir, with great pleasure, I welcome you most cordially. <laughs> to introduce the book, we have with us the scholarly academician, Sri T.P. Srinivasan, the former ambassador of India, and presently the Vice Chairman and Executive Head of the Kerala State Higher Education Council. Yeah. Professor Srinivasan is not a stranger to the Vidyanagar campus as he started his career in the Faculty of English at Marivanis College. He is a well-known orator and scholar and a very close personal friend of Dr. Jibba Malay starting from his Vienna days. He has also, also authored three books, one on the UN campaign of Dr. Shashi Tharoor, making his presence here very apt. He's a father figure for me, making it a pleasure to welcome him most cordially to this function. <laughs> Dr. 
Mujafum Ali, as you all know, is the star of the day. He is presently the director of the prestigious Cardinal Clemens School of Management Studies and was formerly the principal advisor to the Director General of UNIDO. He stands here as a testimony to his never-ending faith in Mother Mary and his boringly unpretentious life, not forgetting his roots, even amid successes that transformed his life. So welcome to your day. <laughs> we have the presence of Reverend Dr. Matthew Manikra Kaval, the Vicar General of the Trivandrum Archdiocese, and also the Administrator of the Cardinal School of Management, Father Bijou Thomas. They have been a source of personal strength and support to Dr. Jabbar Malik. My very cordial welcome to both of them. The members of the faculty and students of the management school are also here. A warm welcome to all of you. I would be failing in my duty if I do not acknowledge the gracious presence of Dr. Datta Arrogation and his family, very close friends of Dr. Jabbar Malik. They have taken the pains of traveling all the way from Malaysia to grace this occasion. A very warm welcome to you both. With the presence of several dignitaries, priests, family members, friends, and well wishers, a word of welcome to all of you once again. Thank you. Now, introducing the book by Sri T. P. Srinivasan, former ambassador of India. He is the vice chairman and executive head, Kerala State Higher Education Council. He served several high class in the Indian Foreign Service. I invite Sri T. P. Srinivasan for introducing the book. Distinguished Minister of Prashashi Taru, my friend Jabba Malai, distinguished guests. It is normally the privilege of the author to introduce the book. But obviously Jabba Malai trusts me more than he trusts himself. <laughs> because he thought he might miss out some important points. And I'm grateful to him for entrusting me with this task. <coughs> Most people don't, don't read the books they release. If Shashi were to read all the books they release, you would have been the most learned man on earth. <laughs> but the advantage of this book is I can honestly say that I read. And I'm sure this must be true of others too. Because he has brought the whole ocean into a little bottle, as it were. But before I go to the book, I must tell you a couple of things about Dr. <coughs> Jabba Malai. When I arrived in uh, Vienna in 2000, 2000 in fact, Jabba Malai was a fairly middle level officer in UNIDO. And I met him in a couple of places and made sure that he was invited to the embassy on an occasion. And while he was leaving, he was very touched. In fact, he was so moved that I was surprised why he was so grateful. And then he told me, this is the first time an ambassador invites me to his house. I was quite surprised because he was in UNIDO for several years. The second instance is my wife and myself, we were traveling in a forlorn place in Austria, a place called Bregenz. We went to a shop. And an Austrian lady walked up to us and talked to us and asked us who we were. When I, was, when I told her that we were in Vienna and the Indian ambassador, she immediately said, do you know Jabba Malai? I said, yes. From that moment, 